Okay, let's uh, briefly overview what happens in charging and discharging of a, of a capacitor. And we have this, the circuit, the simplest circuit diagram that shows both charging and discharging process of a capacitor. And Q denotes the charge on the capacitor on one of the plates. And this is the battery. And this is the resistor that connects the capacitor to the uh, battery. And we have the switch over here. When the switch is on the position 1, connects, it connects the uh, uh, these terminals. We have the charging process that will go on. And this is the positive side of the uh, uh, battery. The current will flow in this direction. And let's denote this current as IC, where C denotes the charging. And current will circulate this loop. Of course, in a charging process, uh, the current is not constant. Right after you close the switch, the current will start from a maximum value. And it will drop exponentially. Okay, so this maximum value is just I, let's call this I C zero, when time t is equal to zero, when you close the switch to the uh, position one. And the charging for the charge uh, over capacitor, it will again, since we start from a zero net charge, will start from a zero net charge so at time t is equal to zero the capacitor on the, the charge on the capacitor is zero and it will increase but this increase will go like this and exponentially it will go to asymptotically a maximum value okay and when you, the charge reaches this maximum value that we we let me uh, put this maximum value on charge as QM. When it reaches the maximum value, the charge uh, will not increase anymore, but of course this maximum value theoretically will reach at a uh, very long time, at the time t is equal to infinite. So the capacitor will charge over this curve, okay, and it will reach uh, to an asymptotic value of QM, this is the maximum value of the capacitor, and it will not go uh, over this maximum value because the capacitor's charge are, you know, uh, given by this formula, the capacitance multiplied by the voltage across the terminals of a capacitor. So it cannot, you know, go this charge, increase this charge indefinitely because C and V are. A constant so it can have a maximum value of uh, the capacitance multiplied by the uh, voltage and the voltage will be provided by the circuit so battery in the circuit so the battery can give you a maximum value of its uh, electromotive force to the capacitor so this is the charging process when the switch is on one charging Okay. And next two diagrams again uh, showing the um, current and the charge value for the capacitor but this time after waiting for long enough time for this circuit okay what we do is we're going to open the switch and connect it to the uh, second position this so that uh, the current will flow in this direction okay so this is let's call ID the current through this uh, loop this half loop uh, will have this current value of ID and denoting that this D is discharging process but before I uh, analyze the behavior of the current and charge in the discharging position let's 
put the uh, expressions for the current values I C and Q. Let's uh, denote this also Q C, and this is Q D because Q D is the charge over time when the uh, the uh, uh, capacitor is discharging, and Q C denotes the charge over time when the capacitor is charging. So let's uh, focus on the first position. What happens uh, explicitly on current and the capacitor. So I have given this uh, formula in class that uh, I C over time will be uh, the maximum current I C zero multiplied by this exponential factor minus T over tau, and tau is nothing but the multiplication of the resistance in the circuit R times the capacitance value C. Okay. <coughs> in fact, this tau is called the time constant time constant of the uh, uh, charging or discharging process whatever uh, the resistance connected to the uh, branch of the capacitor so what is this meaning of the time constant that is in the charging process uh, as time goes on when time reaches this time constant tau at this time the current value will be the maximum value IC0 divided by E more specifically if you if I put the numbers in here this is nothing but 37 percent of IC0 so when time t becomes equal to time constant when the charging process the current drops to 37 of its maximum value so this is the meaning similarly when what happens uh, to the uh, charge on the plates of the capacitor when time is equal to tau when time t is equal to tau the capacitor charge will reach 63% of its maximum value okay so this is the meaning of time constant <coughs> okay well this is the expression for explicit expression for the uh, uh, current through the main branch in the charging process and we can further express this maximum current in terms of the electromotive force, the potential provided by the battery, and the resistance which is uh, on the branch of the capacitor. So it's nothing but epsilon divided by R. So this maximum IC0 is nothing but epsilon divided by R, and more explicitly, the current through the uh, main branch there is only one branch in this charging process becomes uh, this epsilon divided by t r divided uh, multiplied by exponential factor minus t divided by r times c which is time constant this is the more most explicit form of the current uh, through the capacitor in the charging process and if i express the charge on one of the plates in the charging process I will give the maximum charge multiplied by 1 minus exponential t divided by RC and the maximum charge as I said for this charging circuit will be C multiplied by epsilon because epsilon is the maximum voltage provided by the electromotive force through the uh, terminals of the capacitor 1 minus exponential minus t over rc so these are the expressions that all the expressions you need for a charging process and in fact uh, you can observe this observation that you know uh, since the definition of the current is nothing but the change over charge you will see that uh, by taking the derivative of this expression 
you can reach you can reach this expression because you know these are related to each other the current through the capacitor and the charge in one of the plates of the capacitor so let's do that if you take the time derivative of Q with respect to time what you get uh, this is a constant Q times M is uh, taking the time derivative will give you zero but Q times minus Q M maximum value or C epsilon minus uh, minus T over RC taking the derivative of this will give you uh, C epsilon uh, we have 1 minus over here and 1 minus coming from the exponential factor so it makes plus uh, but uh, in front of T where is there we have this uh, uh, factor 1 over RC 1 over RC multiplied by exponential T over RC so what you get is this expression C's will cancel out epsilon divided by R and this exponential factor RC so you see by taking the derivative of the charge with respect to time you you will get ex exactly this expression IC the current through the capacitor okay so this is the charging process the current explicit for the form of the current and the explicit form of the charge over time and this is these are uh, true for the charging process uh, when you come to the discharging process what happens is just just with uh, we turn on the switch to the second position so we have only this uh, loop that's running but uh, now for this position we have uh, initially not a zero charge on the capacitor but we have a maximum charge on the plates right so this will drive in fact this extra charge on the plates of the capacitor will drive the current because there is no any other source for the current for this current uh, ID the current through the capacitor for the discharging process will come from the fact that the uh, capacitor has extra charges plus charge over here and minus charge over here initially because it's it was charged initially so these charges will you know uh, flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal in this direction again when you turn on the switch to the second position right on, right at time t is equal to zero what becomes the uh, id becomes a maximum value again from a maximum value it will drop exponentially just the same as it drops exponentially in the charging process from a maximum value this time of maximum value will be since we already you know uh, done this the maximum value will be epsilon divided by r Okay. Well, in the discharging process, there is no epsilon, there is no any battery on this, but uh, if, you know, you can claim that where this epsilon comes from, this epsilon comes from because we, in the charging process, we charge the capacitor until it has the charge of C times epsilon, and since the maximum value of charge depends on epsilon, that's why we have this epsilon term even in the discharging process although there is no battery on the charging discharging circuit so the drop uh, explicit expression for the drop again will be the same epsilon divided by r the exponential factor minus t over rc it's just the same as the discharging process but for the uh, charge it will drop the charge will drop from a maximum value to zero exponentially like this so the only change in the charge discharging process is uh, coming from the behavior of the charges in the charging process the charging uh, curve is acting like this asymptotically increasing a maximum value but in the discharging process the charge will start uh, not from zero but uh, from a maximum value and this maximum value will be C times epsilon of course for this circuit and it will drop exponentially so the charging process explicitly is C times epsilon 
the exponential factor minus t or rc. So these are, you know, the main results of, you know, explicitly giving the value of uh, the currents through the capacitor for both charging and discharging process and also for the charge and we can use all these results in, in even more complicated cir circuit than this one uh, we will have some uh, of course uh, circuits which is which are more complicated than these circuits but again uh, the main idea or the main equations will be like this I mean always we will have changing currents and the cha changing currents will change uh, according to these expressions exponentially and always always whenever you have a capacitor in some branch of a circuit the current will drop by uh, this exponential factor and always the only change is it will um, of course change the time constant will change time constant will change according to the uh, resistor in the circuit or resistor in the uh, branch that has the capacitor and we will also figure out how to you know in some complicated situation and um, how to calculate how to find the time constant for the uh, charging or discharging process in more complicated circuits circuits we will see okay <coughs>